Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the April 28th meeting of the Board of Sewer Commissioners. I have to call the meeting to order, 6.30. And we have a roll call. We have Sandy Slavin here. Malcolm White. Here. Peter Dunlop. Here. And Jim Gerberti. So we have four members present. Citizens participation. I see nobody here, so when they're not participating. We have minutes, two sets of minutes from the 24th of February. Need a second. Two, I didn't hear it with the fan going. Um, I have reviewed the minutes of February 24, 2022 and find them in order. I have a motion to accept. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we have meetings, uh, minutes from uh, meeting of February 17th. I have reviewed them and I, uh, they are in order. I make a motion. We approve the minutes of February 17th, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Beautiful. Uh, okay, I think I want to go right to the abatements first. And get these out of the way. <laughs> Got one for 56 West Central Avenue. There's two properties, guy? There is. It's one lot, two properties. They dismantled one home and raised the other one. While they were doing that, they had sheer sewer. They got rid of the sewer, then they put sewer back to the property. So uh, there was no properties being used during this period of time. So that's why we're abating them there. Good, bad, bad. One for each house. Let me see, they're looking for an abatement of 640, uh, 666 six, 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 and 85 cents. I make a motion we accept the super sewer superintendent's recommendation for an abatement of six hundred and sixty six dollars and eighty five cents mm -hmm. i'll second that all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. Four zip. the next item we have is four second street that's the other property mr chairman oh, that this is the same. It's a corner lot. It's the same property. Same property, same yes. person. Okay. Why is it a different amount? I'm sorry. Three dollars and change. I, one, one had, um, I, I believe it was, um, an interest or a penalty or something like that. So we're going to bait it. <clears throat> okay. I make a motion. We accept the sewer superintendent's recommendation. And abate six hundred and sixty-five dollars and forty-three cents to Albert and Lawrence, uh, Laurie Lawrence. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero zero. Bakunas Ave. What is that problem here? How do you pronounce that? By Tunis. White Chusas? White Chunas. White Chunas. I haven't seen this one. The amount of $323. Again, I make a motion we uh, follow the sewer, uh, sewer superintendent's recommendation and abate $232. Nope. $323. Excuse me, $223. Nope. 323. Two, three. You were seeing 232. Two. 323. Three. Two, three. Yes. He's dyslexic. Give him a break. I'm only dyslexic in hearing. <laughs> okay, I've got a motion. Second. second. Second from Malcolm. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Zero, zero. Okay. Moratorium. I don't know if you have in your packets, or do you? The, the, uh, 
received the memorandum from GHD. I did. I read it. It's exactly what we talked about. Yeah. I just want to make sure everybody has saw this. Uh, it's still a draft, guy. Yes. Yeah. I have an extra copy on me once more. Can I see that guy? Yes. Is it anything different than we discussed? Not really. Okay, thank you. It's just kind of playing out that we're going to try to do this. Thanks. I have. So we should go to right to page 10 and look at the recommendations. Yeah. Everything else supports them. Did I understand the recommendation is that even approved projects cannot be implemented? Did I read that right? No, what I understand is that approved projects, approved projects, anything greater than that cannot be approved. Mm -hmm. So what his recommendation is, is going forward, if it's not approved and committed to, then it's something we shouldn't do. Oh, I must have misread it. I'm going to read it again. Mm -hmm. Because it's, yeah, it's a good point because he says adding initial flow committed or not. So that leads me to believe that even the fully committed you can't have. But I mean, he, that was my intake yeah, that even but, the committed ones cannot be implemented because we can't take on one more gallon. That's correct. what I thought I read. Yeah. He had put the commitment, the 246 we committed to, included into the calculations, and then he added committed here. It was my understanding that he was saying what we've committed to. Stop there. Don't commit to anything. Well, even that there. we exceeded. You, even what we committed to puts us greater than what yeah. we yeah. We've exceeded it, but now we're, we are definitely committed to providing a plan of action. You, yeah. Yes. We That's have, what that means. We we're not going to get fined, correct? No, no we're not going to get fined. We just have to do something. But we're done. But we're, basically we What's have What's on done. the table is on the it's table. On the table. And and we're done. There's nothing else forward. we can do. So do we need to have a final draft of this, Jimmy? Or not? Uh, this, yes. I don't believe so. I think this is more than sufficient for okay. the situation that we're facing. Eventually, it'll, we'll probably need it. What we're gonna, what we will need, uh, some places, the determination of uh, where we stand on the groundwater discharge. That'll all happen now. Correct. It, well, we need to look, I, I don't we're going to look at all of that now moving forward. We've been looking at that, but we don't have the, we don't. the report back yet on it. But <clears throat> would that indeed be part of the plan, Guy? If we got to submit. So I, to my understanding, Mr. Chairman, so if we get a groundwater report that says we can go to point A, point B, point C, point D, wherever, um, and you can do that going forward. It doesn't say start adding gallons. What it says is that this is our future. The, co the pro as he recommends a comprehensive wastewater management plan, we're going to take all that into consideration. Right. Do we go to the canal? Is that an option? Do we do groundwater discharge? Is that an option? What do we got to do? So, right. so no matter what, and none of it's going to happen tomorrow. None of it's going to happen a year from now. None of it's going to happen three years from now. So what do you do in the interim? Keep taking gallons and hope for the best? Too much. Because it isn't going to get better. It isn't like evaporation is going to take place. It isn't like miraculously gallons are going to go away. There's, none of that's going to happen. So the question becomes is what does the board want to do? This is a long term thing. Absolutely. Long term. That's why I'm Long, 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 long term. Well, it's really it has a huge impact. Well, this is why I say, I mean, we need to get that, uh, as I understand it, we've been trying to find a place for groundwater discharge. Is that not right? We are, okay. but as I said, if we, we find one tomorrow, yet. no, we have nothing today. But again, if tomorrow they say, oh, this is a great place, go there, 
well, okay, so that's great. We're going to put a plant there. Maybe five years down the road we'll have that plant. I was looking at five years. So what do you do in the interim? Just keep bringing in more capacity because we're going to do that's something? That's the problem. We've been doing that for the last 20 years. Remember, originally in 2004, CDM said, remember, when you sewer these 12, you're out of capacity. And we said, well, we're not there yet, so we're good. Let's see you So we went above and beyond what we're supposed to do. And every time we say, oh, that's a great project, bring it in and expand it. It was never in the original 12, so it never had capacity. But we've kind of ignored that. And, and over and over again, we're told, you've got a capacity issue. You've got a capacity issue. And we're great at saying, yeah, but it's not today. And it's OK now. But God, you committed. And, and I don't know how else it can be explained that people understand it. If you commit this flow, this gallon, it's not full yet, but it's committed. So I can't say, you know what? We got room. I'll bring you in. I know you're coming in later, but I'm going to bring you in now because you know what? I've got some room. <coughs> That's all we're saying. So we've been overcommitting <coughs> because we keep saying, yeah, you know, we've got some capacity. Left. And, and again, as he says in this, the, the monkey in the room or elephant in the room is infiltration and inflow. That's a major number. We've had some major spills. We talked to the DEP today about but that. it still spins the meter down to the plant. We've had some major spills from 2015, 2018, and we're in a drought. So we're saying, oh, we're in great shape. We're in a drought. Everything's beautiful. Furthest thing from the truth, because you've got to go at your greatest you know, capacity or the greatest, if you will, peak. We've had that, and we know that we spill it on the ground. We know it pours out of the plant. We know that we know that the pump stations get surcharged. The lines, get, we know all that. But because it's OK now, like, whew, yeah, we're good. Let's just keep going. No, that's not the case. Doctor puts you on penicillin. He says, take it for 10 days. You feel good in two. I'm great. Let's throw it away. No, you do it to 10 because you know there's an issue. Just because you're feeling better today doesn't mean the issue went away. And so we have a capacity issue. Not going to get any better. Not going to go away. Question becomes is what do we do about it? I think that's as simple as that. See, my problem with the groundwater thing is it's not a permanent solution. Oh, I, I understand that. I mean, I was, if you throw money at it. I mean, I, well, I that's take what we, on the big dog and try and get another outfall. I mean, that's what we've been doing right along, just, throwing them, uh, just putting Band-Aids on the problems as they've shown up. Yeah. You know, that that example, would have and, to be up to us, I guess. But even if we did get the other outfall, that's at least five years away. Well, what it, are we it, doing it, the, the timeline probably not going to change no matter which way so, you go. So I don't think. I think you're looking at a five-year problem. Minimum. Well, so so what yeah, do we do for the five right. years? And, and that number just, boom, was right there, five years. I didn't even have to think about it. Much. No, I mean, you know, I, looking at what I don't disagree happen. with that assessment. I really don't. But I think it it's, has a huge impact, Jim. What do you oh, do? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, what do we do? Uh, Send it to Send it to Carver. I don't think we, we have any kind of a. We have no short term solution. We have nothing to provide the town. Right. We I have need nothing. you to look at that first bullet under number seven again mm -hmm. and read it one more time. Say that again, please. Sam. Look at the first bullet under number seven of the recommendation and read it one more time. In parentheses, it says committed or not. You cannot dump any more sewer in. Even committed ones cannot be hooked up if I read this recommendation correctly. You do. We cannot recommend adding any additional flow, committed or not, as the potential well, for none permitted. This is his recommendation. That's his recommendation. And if we're overcommitted, fine. We're not going to get fined right away, but we have to start on our plan of action immediately. And he says... We have, what, one year, Guy? Unless it's drastic, we have three months, whatever I read. We have, we have plenty of time because we, we, we're reacting There's no immediately. plenty of time. Well, what I mean by is for us to say, okay, we, to do something. We started with a comprehensive plan. I, you know, the question of moratorium, taking no more flow. Um, so here's what I'm saying to you, uh, Sandy. If we take that to word, so do I call Woodland Cove and say, stop? No, I can't do that. You can continue building, but you're going to have sewer. 
well, that's going to be difficult. But none of the way, that's a 40B, so that's a whole different world, and they're going to No, it it's not. Well, I don't know. We cannot have a 40B come in and absolutely overload our system. I, I, again, Let them I, I get it. I, again, that, that'll be a... We're, we're aware that's going to be a fight. Yeah. That's going to be a fight between the town well, I told and the, you last time we're going to be where you the guys health. Are I get all that. That'll be a fight. But I so just have my name on another The lawyers lawsuit. are going to love us. Yeah. yeah. That's my problem with it. It has it, huge ramifications, oh, it and I know it's going to end up in legal. Because so, we've granted flow to people. There's not a darn spending, thing we can do about it. Yep. And they're so, spending tons of money. Even with it says even with the it's new better than getting fined. Yeah, basins and the new denitrification filters there, yep. and maybe weather events that still and ruining result our in a non-permitted discharge. Pretty good plant right now. So. Yeah. I hear you. That's true. I hear you. That's exactly what's going to happen. There is no solution. No. You're right. You can't tell everybody that we've said you can you can build and you can connect and all of a sudden we can't Pull the plug. see. No. But somewhere down the line. Put your music down for excuse me one second, boy. Put your music down for half a second. In your recommendation, I, I certainly am, and I'm trying. Go ahead. No problem. Recommendations number seven, bullet one, given the current flows, commitments, and queued flows have well exceeded 80% of the total permitted discharge flows and have in a known condition where the WPCF is performing non-permitted diversions to manage elevated INI, we cannot recommend adding any additional flow. The parentheses, committed or not committed. Are you saying the flows we've committed to, we cannot honor those commitments any longer, or further commitments? That's done, though, isn't it? Hmm? Well, we did that. What? But we haven't got any numbers. No. Correct. That's a question. When are we going to see some numbers wait on minute, that cohesive narrative? Hold it, hold it, Peter. He's on the phone. He's on the phone. He's on the phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so again, this I, I want to be clear because we've Starting committed to, let's say, Woodland Cove mm -hmm. and the commitments. Ross. Are you saying that we cannot tie them in? Sure. Just get out of bringing the cannolis. <laughs> okay, that, I wanted, that, that's all. That, that. Okay. So it's technically moving forward. So all the committed cues that we discussed and we committed those, then that we can continue with that, but anything greater than that we cannot. Okay. I just wanted to be sure because there was some that misunderstanding. Was my so I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Will you okay. tell them? Wait, don't let them hang up. The single family home on 240 Oak Street does not exist. I think it's 24. Do you have him check the street number. Okay. Just sorry. I read the document. Okay. <laughs> That's, I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, they can't. They can't. Well, they can't exceed okay. that limit. That was it. No, because we uh, we thought so, you meant oh. it was committed, but in parentheses it confused us. So we yeah. wanted to get clarity. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Yep, but there, anything that was queued that we committed to is okay. Okay. We can't nothing, commit to anything greater. Nothing more. So how many more are coming down the pike? We don't know about so we're yet. We're still in the red zone, so to speak. Yes, we're we in are. the red zone. We we're, need to, we're in the red we are. zone. Yes. We've initiated all that. Jimmy, something to look at. I understand that Make Peace will no longer be developing that piece of land or that project they had, we had committed to. Double check that please which with the town administrator. Which one are you talking about? How much, how much gallons do we commit to make peace? Not much. 60,000 gallons. 60, gallons. Is that all the selectmen reported to? No, they no. agreed to unlimited, but on okay. the books we have So I'm asking 000. you to please check with the town administrator because I believe there's something from Make Peace that he's backing, they're backing away from all projects. Oh, yeah. Which could very well mean this unlimited is no longer on our yes. plate. But I need no, to have a confirmation. Now, no, if you look at the sheet. The sheet deals with you, the real number, so. The sheet Correct. deals with the numbers, and that, mm -hmm. that number you're talking about is 10,000, not 60. 10,000 less. 
No, it, well, it's 60, okay, you're right. We gave them an additional 10. We agreed to 50,000 for Roe's book and gave them an additional 10. So the 10 they haven't used yet, so we left yeah, that Yeah, that confused me a little bit because I thought they had an unlimited. They're, for the BDOD, for that the document's BDOD a living have. document. For the BDOD, they do have. Yes, that is and correct. find out if that's still. For the still business development overlay. Oh, Please that. make sure. Can but you But that's, that's not part of this year and what, if I understand what you just said and what I heard from Russ, is that what we're looking at here, we've committed to currently. Right. Well, whatever they whatever they that, have, but they that, still have to apply. That make that make piece correct. Delta is out yes, of the is ten, off okay. the table as far as that's as far as it's being not able part to of any of our numbers. No, it but is the not. And committed it's committed to over it. Here. Right. And so we just can't, we can't ignore that it's over here. No, oh, yeah, we, can, we can let the selectmen deal apply, with it. We still have yeah. to approve. Okay. Yep. All right. But that's, that's going to have to come in. Correct. Can you please check that's with the um, town regarding <coughs> big pieces? Maybe we have these gallons back is what I'm saying. Can you verify? Which, which gallons? All the ones for make piece. The Rosebrook building. So the only thing we've Rosebrook got building is built. It's built yeah. They're it's adding built. a dental They're office, and that's far as I know, that's it. So the dental office will be another 10,000 gallons a day? It, it, probably not even that I much. Just, can you just verify? Okay. I was on the phone with Mr. Kane day before yesterday regarding gallons at Rosebrook, so we're good there. What I don't know, and he's never said to me, and I've asked the question many, many times, are they going to relinquish the BDOD, the unlimited gallons? He's never indicated he will. Okay. So then that's all then there is I to it. So. That's it. I just heard that uh, yeah, no, they were backing away from a lot of their development, and I was wondering what the impact would be on our committed flow. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all right. until, it until they give him word that they're backing off, on the committed flow. So we can't go ask ourselves. Okay. I can, I'll ask the question. You can ask the question, but the, I'll ask the question unless, again. unless they say something specific, you know. Well, you they know, may have to the because, town, may not have reached us, is what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Could have happened, yeah, you're right. That's a good point. You would have to, you know, invalidate the document, and that may take oh, a document. I don't know enough. how that works. Uh, That's legal. Yeah. Move you know on. I mean. I'm, I'm done. Okay, so good point. What and, are we going to do with the moratorium? So what we're looking at right now is everything that we have got chance anymore. technically on the books that, Donna's place. that we've approved. We can still hook up. Is that right, guy? Yes. Anything that everything that we had queued and approved, we can hook up. That's it. So that's essentially everything that's on the back page of this. Probably correct, yes, I would assume. The queue list he's got in here. Makes sense. April yes. 22 project update. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So anything over and above this. Uh, All right. Is a no-go. I'm sorry. Take a look at page 4 and page 9. The committed numbers do not match. Not by much. Great little difference. I remember correctly. You know, I but you, you, I just want to know. Are we looking at table three point one? You got two forty-six versus two forty-eight. You know. Okay. So table six point two. Two forty-eight. Or three point one. Yes, yeah, so was it 246 or 248? It's yes, 2,000 gallons. 200 2, gallons, 2,000 gallons. Yeah. 2,000 gallons difference. But I'd have to. I go through each number and see where it is. But to be frank with you, I, I, I it's committed gallons. I'm I just wanted to know which one of the two. I go with. I go with the 248. Is our base? Is our table? Is our foundation? Nothing more than what's on 3.1 or 6.2. I would suggest 6.2. That's the yes. most recent. All right. That's yeah. That's the current one. Is that in the minutes that we we have yes, our committee. because if you look at if you look at page four, it says committed flow rates as of June 2021. Uh huh. And if you look at nine, it's updated flow project Q list, April 2022. Okay. So 2022 is the one that we go with. Yep. Okay, 
moratorium. It, his, on these two charts, on, on the one on four, <clears throat> it lists the Greater Attleboro Regional Transit Authority. It that doesn't was taken on off. the other one. That was taken off. Right. Okay. That was eliminated. That was Gatridge going to do that wash was, their vehicles behind the new so gas station. That, that's going so, out. Should that reduce it by 5,000? No. no, but we added back in Warren's project, so we added more projects back in. Well, what's the crumpet factory unknown? We didn't, we had no idea. We talked, we heard about the crumpet well, factory. Is, is, does haven't. that mean they're not going to be allowed to hook up? No, they're not in the queue. They're not committed. We didn't commit to them. Okay. As far as I now, understand. But what we, about these two properties on Main Street? Are they included? They are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they exceed the 5000 we saved from the transit that's what, authority. That's what we're saying. Because if you look at 76 Main Street, 3500, 52 yeah, Main Street, 5000. Yeah. Now, what about some of these lots that are being cleared that these people think they, they're going to be able to build on? Um, what, what's that one that we looked at, Jimmy? The one Sandy you told us about on the over off Depot Street. Chapel Lane. Chapel Lane. That's if you look, here. it's on the list. It's on here. It, it is? came before us almost two years ago. Chapel Lane's all See, set. Underneath assisted living facilities near the top, Chapel Lane. Oh, yeah, there it is, right. 1320. Yep. They came to us some time ago for the six units. Yes, I know they back. came to Affordable Housing Trust two years ago, so I think it's still six units. Yep. So it's on the list. It was all cleared. I was thinking Depot, but it was on the corner of Depot. And, and that property that they're talking at 801 Main Street, that's not tied in, right? That Absolutely. it will be a septic system. Okay, Absolutely. yeah. And Jimmy, do you have a chance to talk to anybody? Relative Town to Hall about this? Not really. This, since we had the last meeting, it's every time we've gone to the town hall, it's been in the middle of getting ready for the uh, town meeting. Yep, yep, yep. So I told Derek that I wanted a meeting with him as soon as town meeting was over, once he's got a minute to breathe yeah, with a couple of us. And go over some of this stuff because it's got to be done. It's got to be done quickly. Well, it looks like we're going to have to reestablish the yep. moratorium. Oh, absolutely. And what do you, how do you want to handle that? You want to put everybody that applies in queue yeah, and I not would. take any apps, or what do you want to do? I would I would use a queue, just be, you know. Be, it, but it's going to be a but, long but time. Letting them know that you know, you know, if you want to go in the queue, that's fine. Uh, I would. But it could be. Up to five years. Because yeah. we have no solution. That's I understand right. that. Okay. But you're no, have to but tell them something we're on the actively looking working on a solution, which is what legally we when need. When you have the meeting with Yes, Derek, we have to prove to someone back. that we are looking at alternatives. We, we, we've engaged. GHD HD. is working towards <laughs> yeah. uh, identifying and solutions. That's where we're going. We obviously can't ignore it because then we open ourselves up to everything. But there's a process, and to sacrifice the zero percent financing, mm -hmm. we're going to go through the process. Oh, absolutely. Unless somebody's got a better idea in a bigger pocketbook. You got to do that. As a fiduciary, you have to do the right thing. Zero percent finance is going to be difficult. The town has very little appetite for it. Which is a shame. It'll probably cost us a lot. It already has cost us millions and millions. Oh yeah, it's going to gonna be hundreds of millions, millions. Yeah, by the time it's done. But that's they have no appetite. That's just the way it is in this in this town. And my point is, you're really nowhere unless you have a bigger outfall. Absolutely, but even then, I'm not. So, uh, however, that, however, it can be accomplished. I've been presenting a Said long that time. Said that from day one. We started. What we've been playing with this? What seven years now? Six, seven, eight years. And the town well, felt that going to the It's painful, canal, Jimmy. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it's it. It's not cheap. I, mean, I don't get time, it. But. I understand that. You know, it, it, in the thing that that I have been looking at, and I guess I'm the only one that's looking at it that way, is that 
in order for this town to grow long term, and I don't mean what's for lunch tomorrow, I mean long term, and 20 years isn't, waste, isn't worth the time looking out because by the time you go through the drill of getting the engineers, getting the plans approved, getting uh, financing established, getting an RFP out, getting bids back in, bing, 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 and actually sticking a shovel in the ground and starting to do some work, by the time your 20-year project is completed, you've spent probably 12 years to get to that point. <clears throat> with the paperwork and tra crap and everything else. So after that period of time, what have you got? You, you really got, you're looking forward eight years out, which isn't really looking forward at all. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been trying yeah. to say that, you know, I like the idea that I think it makes perfect sense in everything that we've had for information coming in uh, from Woods Hole, uh, Buzzers Bay Coalition and the rest. The best option, not just for us, but really for the area as a whole, would be to flush out to the canal, you know. And the science, at least what we have at this particular point in time, proves it out. But that's your decision. You, and, you said that you don't want to do that. The town recommended not going to the canal and you stopped the process. So I stopped the engineers. No, we haven't, st we haven't stopped it. We stopped the digging, the one for the, the underground. Because, and the only reason we stopped it at that point is because of all of the flack down and born because we weren't in a position at that point to get so permitting wise, a fight with that. And permitting we wise, stopped that. where does that stand right what, now? What are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, well, we're going to stand still with that right now because I've talked with, uh, well, Buzz's Bay Coalition. They're, not, they're still puttering around. That's not off her agenda either. No, they're still pushing it, but, yeah. but it doesn't matter what they do. If the town says no, it's a no. Well, we haven't said no. All we said is we want to hold back because of right now to go forward after that vote down in Bourne that came through. Non-binding vote, by the way. Non-binding. Non -binding. It was yeah. a non-binding vote. Yeah, it means nothing. But you're going to let that misinformation that's floated out there settle a little bit. Peter? If, if in fact Bourne says no, can they be overruled because the EPA says we have to accomplish this? Bourne, I was going to say, who actually yeah, has authority sorry. over the waterway? The, so what to do, the, the government a lot, the, the uh, waterway is owned by the federal government. It's, it's Army Corps of Engineers. And then there's a little piece that it's owned by the state of Massachusetts. They control it. Bourne obviously has land along it, so they're exerting their energy and saying, we don't want it. Oh, thank you. They're right, residents right. of I that understand. area saying, we don't want it. I get that, and I, I expect it. no different. They're told that raw sewer is going to go into canal. Well, that's total misinformation, but that's what's being out there. And again, if I wanted to stop something, I'd put out bad propaganda. Propaganda, everybody does. I understand. And I would put that out. So that's that. So we react to that bad propaganda, so well, we better wait and we better do this. So we're holding everything we need to do by another year, two years, three years, because we know it's a long-term project anyways. And knowing that we got to have ways to get to the end, so we're going to stop and we're doing nothing, then we have to re-engage at some point. So that just extends the whole process longer down the road. When we know that we've got to have a long-term solution, as Jim said, more than 20 years. This will be for 100 years. So it makes all the sense in the world. And I think the price tag scares everybody because what I got back from the town was, that's a lot of money on the ratepayers. It's the same money they charge for in, indirect costs. Indirect costs isn't a lot of money on the ratepayers, but the canal is a lot of money on the ratepayers. I don't get it, but it's just the way it is. But as the ratepayers in this board has to decide, okay, is it something we want to do? Because it's your decision. You're the policymakers. Either you do or you don't. That's all. And I don't have the answers, but I'm looking. We've got to come up with some type of solution because we're dead in the water. And the this irony is, is that the town is going to suffer too because it's going to stop growth with sewer. And the DEP will get involved because the town's going to say, we'll put septics. And you can't put septics in the sewer area. Well, it's, so it's going to get kind of crazy. So I, is the bottom line, we're, we're more or less in a moratorium for five years and the town can't expand? According to this document, absolutely, but that's... But I mean, is that is that essentially what we're saying? God, I hope I. And we, and I that's, that's a tough pill. That's a tough mm -hmm. pill to swallow. It is. It, is that a, It is then. All right, then let me make one other silly remark. 
What about if we stop accepting any haulers? How much does that save us? Any haulers? None of them come here. It wouldn't affect this. It wouldn't affect this moratorium. Why? And, but why? Because the gallons are separate. We count them separately. The gallons that we get from the haulers does not go through the meter that we're working this on. It has nothing to do with this. Well, it, it affects the bottom line on how much the plant is handling and how much the outflow is. It, it hand, you're right. It, it does contribute to the loading, which is not an issue. We're talking pure gallons, so I don't see it. You're talking 40,000, maybe 60,000 well, gallons? I'm, if you think that's the answer, we'll stop it. Well, I'm, it's, it's, it's 60,000 gallons. It's, a it's, day? It, 60,000 gallons a day on average, maybe less. Some days we do nothing, but if you think but that's- But does it get us below the red line? Not at all, not even close. Didn't even put a dent in it. What you're saying is that it's not and, in the uh, it's not in the numbers. Not well, in the numbers. But we also give up capital at that point. Well, yes. year, well we do roughly between eight hundred thousand and a million dollars a year in revenue. So you give up a okay. I mean, we don't that's, pick that up in EDUs. Yeah. Let's just get a balance. Well, I don't know. A million dollars, roughly, you say, would lose. Last year we did nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Okay, that's a million dollars. How much? How many EDUs is it going to take to make that up? I, I'm not, I'd have to do it. So you right. do $646 uh, oh, dollars per to use, divide that by a million dollars, and that's yeah, right. number. So I, it, it doesn't matter. I, you know, bottom line is, you know, the policy is, well, I'll do whatever you say, whatever you think is the best way to go. I just don't want to, you know, do anything crazy. But at the same time, we know we can't keep adding. That's all. I, I, I totally see what the problem is, and I, there's no argument there. It's just I can't imagine how we're going to tell the town, stop growing. I can't either. It's the way it is. But that's essentially what we have to do. Unless we, well, can, get, in, in unless we can get more output permitted. <coughs> Sorry. In light of the fact that we're at 80 percent or more, I make a motion that we reinstitute the moratorium and put all applications in queue from this point forward. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can you now. one more time so I can write? I'm writing fast, but I didn't get it all. Rec we are voting on a moratorium because we've exceeded in, in, in light of the fact that we're at eighty percent or more. We're going to reinstitute the moratorium, put all applications in queue. If you want to add for further consideration, fine, but I'm not. That was the intent. So now, the next thing to deal with is what we're doing about the outfall. Should we put? the cart in front of the horse and continue pursuing that or wait for th this study? It's a good question. Um, we have a, we're beginning a comprehensive wastewater management plan. Within a year, all potential solutions or recommendations will be, and we'll have. If the board feels we should wait for that before we do anything moving forward, that's fine. I, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I feel the only permanent solution is increase your outfall. I, I relocate agree. and increase I your capacity. You have to do something because our our issue is it, we it's, have no place to go with it. Exactly, the, that's the, the real issue. The Agawam River River can only take 1.56. You have enough room to modify the plant probably to go beyond the two million. We have 33 but more acres. What do you do with it? Where do you put it? The question is, where do you put it? Okay, just to, to put it in a little bit of perspective for you, Mac, on that. Uh, the to continue night. with the with the outfall pipe to the canal, we're at the pretty much at the drilling stage point. Is that correct? No, we, we're working. Uh, what, what, what the stage we're at is to do plans to present to the top Department of Transportation, because that's a project in itself to get approval from them. So the issue is we've had momentum building, get the DOT to set meetings. Now we stopped. To re-engage the DOT, it took us two years to re-engage it from last time. So we've stopped, we walked away from the DOT, we got to re-engage with the DOT, and I can't tell you a timeline for that. 
we're trying to just get to the, that's why we're doing plans to get okay. to that so point. So what kind of dollars are we talking about to proceed on that level? It was, I think it was $800,000 okay, because so the DOT got, wanted plans. So we've got 800000 that we be on the hook for because at this point we don't have a regional operation. We don't have other towns buying in on the project. Well, that's an answer. Okay. That is part of the reason for putting the brakes on it at the moment. Yeah, it's just the town of Warham and the Mass Maritime. There's only two that are interested. Of course, in what I'm looking at is trying to expedite the solution. Oh, I understand that. I but I understand in. the risk. You know, I mean, that's, that's, I've been after Maybe this. that's something Russ could help us with. It'll be in his comprehensive, and I've talked to Russ many times about this, and he'll do all his due diligence, but to, you know, that, even though the cost is going to be, let's say, and I don't want to talk about cost, but substantial. What is the cost of the town to not continue growth? Is that a million dollars? Well, that's my $100? point. $100? $50 million? <coughs> $20 million? What is it long term? Because you're essentially saying we're done. We're not going to spend any more money to do anything. So my, here's my fear, to be frank with you. The town's going to say, yeah, not our problem. We're going to keep growing. That's what I believe is going to happen. We're going to still issue permits. We're going to still allow things to happen. Do whatever you want, but you're not going to tie in. You know, that's, that's because I won't issue any permits. But no. to tell the town to stop, I don't see them saying, you know, we agree, let's, let's expedite. It's, I don't understand. And well, I, as of tonight, you're not issuing any yeah, permits. Yeah, I don't, we, I, I, we don't have to, I've never issued, I never issued, we won't go there. But yes, we have businesses online that we didn't issue permits for. Is it, Everybody needs to be notified. So wait, we have businesses that tied in that we didn't permit? I refuse to speak on the grounds that may incriminate me. Re not recently, though. No, no not, not in the last seven, eight months. <laughs> not what I was hoping to hear. We're not considering any new applications. No. Is that better? That, that's better. You know, I, I, it's funny because I got one yesterday, the other day. Am I, I correct in everything correct. That, that's on in queue or that we've accepted is applied for? So let me throw this I, out. I, I know what you're saying. Because every time we say something, there's a curveball that bothers me. I got one the other day, Rabbi Glass, that we proved in 2014. Mm. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> we approved it in 2014. So it's in our committed number. It, it isn't. I just found out about it Wait a minute. yesterday. We approved in 2014, and there's no record of it. Well, that was previous. That was Sorry, that was I, the, that sure. was previous to us, right? So it was 2014. It was before sewer commissioners. So it was done by the selectmen. Derek so the question is, how much more is out there? That's, my, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't find any, but I have no. I have no knowledge of this one. But if it's not on this committed list, we can't allow we it. Cannot allow it. We can't allow it. So that's yeah, we can't allow it. So that those then type fight of fight it. Yeah, I mean, the type of are the ones that are gonna we gotta. Yeah, I don't have any more out there. This has not been a good week for me. <laughs> it's, good, it's a good week well, to build character. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, my motivation is to try and cut down on that, the, the turnover time. So, but well, I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, that, see, that's a, <clears throat> it just seems like We've got to have the, first of all, we've got to have some numbers to work with. The problem is, and, and that, the, the numbers that get thrown out for us to work with are scary to look at. However, comma, the flip side comes down to your question is, can we afford not to grow and what would it cost us not to grow? Now, that becomes a real ballpark number because it depends on who you want to talk to, what they're going to say. And if they want to get, exactly, you know, where so, are we going to lose the most? Yeah. So it, how do you arrive at that? Exactly. That's that's one of those real wags. You know, reach up, grab down, pull oh, it's a wag, light, all right. go from there. Yeah. Uh, That'd be a community you can, development. You, you come up with some reasonable numbers as far as what it would cost to go from here to get to the canal. Now that's assuming that we don't have a, a roadblock with the railroad and. If we have a road block, uh, road block with the railroad on that direction, we'd have to take another track. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we 
probably can take another track. It'll be more expensive and time consuming. Prefer not to. But the, anyhow, the railroad is the, is the cheapest option. It's most direct. Most direct, and they're both uh, both options are very. It is most expensive. Lisa, it's, it's would, would less it than above, the highway. Could it be above ground along the railroad tracks? No, that was totally cost prohibitive. They already tried that. That was our first approach. They said if you want to do that, we had to put sheathing along the entire rail yeah. to protect the you know the the influence zone of the rail. Right. So they they go for it. it, 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 it You'd I, have to what build a wall literally around it? Right. Oh, on, she, on she, side, build anyhow. a wall right along the whole thing. Well, then the hell with the pipe. I guess my question is, <laughs> where does the zone of influence end? Does the railroad own all the way to the center of the earth? No, the, yeah, it's, it's, well, that's why we're going to, so to answer your question. That's well, how much do they really have to say about it? That's so the, here's the influence. If you dig below it, at what elevation will it not cause any settling to cause a shift in the tracks? Because mm -hmm. their concern is a shift in the tracks. The same thing with the zone influence. If you notice, most railroads have a peak and then it goes off on right, an angle. Right, 45 degrees. At the degrees end of that is the end of the influencer zone. At that point, they want us to put sheathing. Then we can put a pipe along the sheathing. Because mm -hmm. now they know there wouldn't be any shifting in the, uh, the tracks are protected. Mm -hmm. When you dig under the tracks, that's why it's very difficult to shoot under the tracks. Oh, I know. So mm -hmm. they want you to go very deep. The deeper you go, the calculations say there's no area of influence. And so they're saying, okay, well, that's fine. But here's the key. You've got to prove that with engineering and documents. You just can't say, oh, we know that. No, you've got to prove it. Right, and that's right. where we're going with it. And that's where the money was because so we got to prove it to them. that would be just short of a million dollars to get yes, there. to prove to them that it's not going to be an issue to get their approval to go ahead and drill. The question becomes is, and what's been said is, well, we shouldn't be the only ones. Other towns should do it. Well, wait a minute. Suppose no town wants to get involved, so we're saying because they don't want to go, we shouldn't grow? I don't know. And it is expensive. The number thrown at the time was $50 million. It's so expensive. The, the railroad won't even look at it unless you have a 100% design. Absolutely. you got to design at least 80%. Well, then let's hire the railroad to take it down there and walk you'd, down. You'd <laughs> think they would just look at the situation for this Across point here and, and, and be able to make a decision. No, because if it's here's what they're saying to us. Bridge. There's supposed to be bridge some plans yeah, right. for high-speed rail. That's the, and I don't know when that's going to come. I know we have a high-speed train now. They that better goes slow in the down when they get to the canal. So if that was the issue. That there's a high-speed train now yeah. right? in the summer. So We're, we're going to get a commuter rail. You, you know that. And I, so the they're best. saying... We can't the afford business. any shifting of the no tracks. Idea. They can't. What's the railroad right away? 50 feet. It's about 50 in some places greater. So 25 feet on either side? Pretty much. They try to center it. But there's some places which well, are a little wider. Well, what know. if we went 30 feet off? In the right of way, greater than? Yeah, we tried. We, we cited it. Well, some places you can't do it because it's abutments, there's, there's areas you can't do because they own right away, but some of it's dead in the middle of a waterway. Some of it's dead, so you can't, you can't dig a pipe there. So you have to, we have to put a pipe on the flat land along the side of the canal, yeah. if, if it makes sense. Uh, so let's say the canal comes down, it comes here, here I mean, the, the rail's here, influence is here. They have this much more <coughs> of right away, but it's all wetland. You can't dig that. <coughs> Even though it's there, we can't dig there. <coughs> we only dig here. So that was an issue. But can also. you drill under it? We can drill. Any, we can drill directly under it. That, that's why we presented. They said that's great. So we what, have what, to prove there's no settling. What was the cost difference to not use the railroad? It's about 10, 10 million more to, to, to not drill. That's right. To dig along drill the highway. Drill elsewhere. Go to the highway. Then get permission from the DOT for the highway. To drill under the highway. Um, we talked about digging, but we could look at no, drilling. No, I'm talking about drilling anywhere but under the railroad. I, that's a good, I, I haven't looked, Why that's not? a good question. Well, I'll tell you, here, let me say this. Okay, so understand drilling, to be sure, and, and, and that was in the presentation, and he has documents. You have to have an area to lay out the pipe that you're pulling in. So you can't do it with his houses because you can't pull by houses. You can't do it in the highway because you've got to shut down the highway to pull the pipe. So that's where the difficulty comes. With a railroad, you can have a train, because trains don't run that often here. You can lay out the pipe on the railroad and pull it in. That's why it was the most, you know, had the most advantages to do directional drilling, because that pipe has to be pulled in. And it's all welded together for 
maybe a mile of pipe, and they pull it in. So the highway is out for direction only because I have to cut these boxes in the highway, lay the pipe out in the highway, then pull it in. So we'd have to get DOT permission to shut down 6 and 28, which would be very difficult to do. Is Maritime the only place to do an outfall? Any place in Buzzards Bay? Do we have to use Maritime? Can we put a pipe directly out into Buzzards Bay and discharge? We, we probably could, but the cost approved. would be poof, but we could. Well, our cost is hard now, but we don't have an option. We're, I'm looking for an alternative. We did. Can we, we put a pipe out and discharge at the end of... Um, Stony Dyke we looked yes. at. That, it would probably triple the cost, but we can do it. We looked at it. So instead of 50 million, it'd be maybe 150, 200 million. Where we are you talking it. about going on? Up by Stony Dyke, out in the canal, go out into the Buzzards oh, Bay, just go. The... Just go. Yeah. Yes, we just look okay. at that. Just go. I thought we were told we couldn't have a, they, we, we, we could not put another outfall in the canal. Did we have no, this to is use be, an existing? This is beyond the this canal. This is beyond. We're, going to, we're no, talking about canal. going up past Stony Dyke, you Don't know, past the canal, because the canal opens up, uh, you know, into Buzzards Bay, all the way up. The, I the, know. Where Bird, is I... the canal? At Stony. I thought that was still considered the canal. It is. Part of it is, part of it isn't. It is. Because it's a channel. Well, to the first markers beyond Stony Point Dyke. And that's All it. right. Still go out canal. to Little Bird so Island. Out to the end of the, the, the point there. You got to go further. Are you in the canal? Yeah. So yes, we're you not are. further ahead. Speed limit's 10 miles an hour. 10 knots, 10 miles. Yeah, because they. I know they looked at going up past Stony Point. No, okay. It was, I it was cost prohibitive. Ashney Flat and I hammered. Do we have any other options of getting <laughs> rid of the yeah, output? It's I thought it... You're looking at groundwater so, discharge. Wait, no. I thought at one time we talked about someone willing to come in and tank away our water, our, our processed water, put yeah. it in a tank and drive it away and use it someplace else. CMAS at one time and that's off the table. If we went out Nobody else would like to have that water for irrigation or anything like that? We talked to the golf oh, course. Uh, uh, Bay Point would love to, but the problem is if they commit to, let's say, 20,000 gallons a day, so they don't need in the winter, they still have to take it. Oh. So where's it going to go? And, and CMAS is, was interested. Uh, or Covanta. But it's two miles further. Because we you, thought of a long You'd have, probably have to drill a pipe going that way. The way you have to go now. Because if they commit, Sandy, they, got to, they can't just say for today or tomorrow because I can't take the gallons back. Once we give them 20000 they, they own it. I hear what you're saying. Well, we've looked well, at all the... And, we, and, and Sandy, we're still looking. There may be something we're missing. Come right back up. We haven't stopped looking. We're, we're still going to keep looking because it's an issue. And there's no other river we can dispose in. Not that uh, I know. Not that they'll allow. So it'd have to be going on my way. Sure. What other river? Wankinko, Weweantic. Weweantic already is the same boat that Aguam is. It, it's it's an identified um, river of impairment. So we'll never get an outfall so there. Right back uh, on, uh, uh, this right place back we just wouldn't plan. get it. That's why I wanted the golf Another course. River. All this old bunch of open land out there, we can discharge yeah, tons out the there. Forest. Put a plant out there. We could move some gallons. I mean, I would love to be able to say to the town, yes, you have a moratorium, but this is what we're looking at down the line mm -hmm. to remove the moratorium. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell them five well, years. Well, we'll have plenty of time to explain it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's projects that have come yeah, before is. us. It may have come before yeah, zoning or planning, but until they've come before right. us, they don't exist as far as our, they, they are covered under the moratorium, nothing. Right, we have to, they, they can, anybody can tell them anything, but we have to grant right. sewer, and we have it. Mm -hmm. If we haven't granted sewer, they don't have a problem. I'm sorry, I can't have a... No, no, no. Yep. So... <clears throat> Everyone needs to be notified. Ugh. And not just the people I would that think are listening to this. you could do it with an email. Maybe you should do certified mail. But you do whatever. Newspaper? Well, here's a recommendation. There's a selectman's it's meeting on Monday night. Here. Bring it up under 48 hours. 
We have a selectman's meeting Monday night, the second, and, Mon and Tuesday night, the third. Bring it up under 48 hours. That way you let the selectman know, you let the town administrator know, and you let the public know. You've got to get to the redevelopment authority as well. Well, Peter Teitelbaum is a selectman. He's yeah, on the redevelopment I, I, authority. I said get to the redevelopment well, authority. Well, that and planning and zoning. So, Buckman. what you want is to all chair heads. Yes. <clears throat> Ken Buckland. But you're right. If you start the selectman's meeting, Mr. Sullivan's there. That can start the and process inspections. of checking the information. Excuse me? What I said is Sandy has a valid point. If we went to the selectmen's meeting, uh, then, and Mr. Sullivan's there, then we can start that decimation of information because we can have them bring the information on. So, because they're the heads and they can trickle it down. And That's there's a good, good chance if we bring it up to the selectmen, the newspapers will pick it up. Mm -hmm. We can make sure the newspapers pick it up. I what? suppose, I'll Jim. I'll give it to the newspapers. If you're talking to Derek and selectmen, you can have a a hot list of everybody you feel should be notified. Just this yeah. is a recommendation, a guys. Ask Judy to get put put the 48-hour agenda well, on Monday. You don't even have to look it up. Do the selectmen have a meeting next Tuesday with the election Monday, coming up? Monday Elections. they have one. They have a meeting on the second and the third. They've posted an agenda so it's for on the Monday and Tuesday. So if you wanted to go to Derek and give him a heads up on Monday, go to the selectmen's meeting and make it official on Tuesday? No, on Monday. It's gotta be Monday. Well. Because you got the 48 hour rule. For what? To have a, something discussed on the selectmen that wasn't anticipated. It's no discussion. We, we're just giving them a piece but of information. But it can't be brought up without it being on the agenda. I understand. Which is why it can be brought up under the 48 hour. I understand that. Which is Monday. I that. That's right. I understand that. You know, I know what she's, I realize but she's got the two of them. We have to tell people as soon as possible what just happened. I don't think this is up for discussion. This is just giving them the information. No, you're right, Peter, but. They will ask questions. We should be there. They get themselves in a box if they, if they put a stamp on something and say, you're good to go. Well, you're not, you're not on our end. You know what I mean. But that's what they've been doing. Now, this moratorium we're putting in effect as of. Now. Today. Yes. 28 April. I think so, 428. We didn't put it in the motion, but to me, it's I mean, the it, motion it, is made today, and that's effective today. All those committees can go along with their business, but it's going to stop here. You're going to get in line. And, and maybe the selectmen will be able to add some, some you know, decision making. They're going to want to discuss. You know what I mean? And they, maybe they have something no. up their sleeve that we're not doing. So at this point in time, it's a town issue. There has to be some collaboration. There has to be some open discussion. It's not a I said, she said, he said. There's not a, a, an advert, a, a adversary. Right. No, uh, it's, it's not. It's a total we agreement. We don't have a choice. Guys, how do we solve this issue? Let's all put our thinking caps on. Let's all look at this realistically. Let's stop criticizing, pointing fingers, being jerks to each other. Let's figure this out. Have, That's where we are. Have, have, we, have we paid to have this officially done and no more draft? We, you want it finalized? Yeah. Okay. What do we need to do to make that happen? Uh, just take the word final uh, draft off. Tomorrow? Just take the word draft off it. If you leave, as long as things are in the draft form, you can discuss them and they, you I know. I understand. Once they go final, they will put them out public, it'll go out publicly. I think it's pretty comprehensive mm -hmm. and I think it explains everything, so. We'll so would it. you like a motion that I recommend that we accept this letter? On June 8th, 2021, titled Moratorium, we make it formal that it's no longer a draft. I don't know. Do you need a Do you need a Do you need a vote on that? Or you just want me to do it? I'll just or do, do you it. just do it? Make, just do it. I'll just have him make it final. That's just a phone call to Russ, right? Yeah. yeah. 
No anticipation of the comprehensive plan. I'll tell you what you can do, sir. We're talking to the Department of Environmental Protection. Yeah. Wait a minute. Because we have to bring everything to them. Probably what we can do is accept the draft as written and request a formal, a, okay. a formal finalized. We could make a All motion. All right. I make that. a motion that we accept the June 8th, 2021 moratorium of capacity at the Wareham Water Pollution Control Facility complete and no longer a draft, is that? Fin no. We want to finalize doc. We, and, we, and we now recommend, we now require, we now request a finalized document. That's it, okay. I make a motion, we, sewer commissioners, accept the June 8th, 2021 memo and that it becomes a final memorandum of capacity at the water pollution control facility. Was that good enough? In support of, in support of, of the moratorium. What was that date you threw out there? The, uh, the original 8th. date on it. Look at the. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing at the moment. It's the June 8, 2021 was the, the was original the, date. Uh, but yeah, okay. It's been updated, it's but that's. It's been updated. Fine. That's right. But unfortunately, okay. that's the I was last looking at the update date. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. It was gotcha. updated April 2022. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. That's what the date I was looking at. He'll send it. That's he'll all. send it updated. Correct. Right. Yeah. So where'd you see the new date? On the very back. Last, it's, last it's, page. On the page nine, it says table six two updated April 2022 pod project. That's list. only the table. I'm looking at the title of that's the document. That's what I'm saying. So the doc is that you're right. So that date that says June 8, 2021. Yep. When the new memo comes out and it's finalized, that date will change. If, if we can have that soon, Guy, we could distribute it to the TA and the board, the selectmen, and you can drop it there. Guy. Yes, the finalized and the final uh, version of this. We can attach it, a letter to it, or they can look at the, meet, the minutes from this meeting, yep. either one, and you're done. I, made, I know, you're I not going to be motion. popular. I made the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero zero. Aye, aye, aye. I yep. know. The trouble is we've done this before and they don't pay attention to us. Well, Let's see. it did put everything in queue though. They did. They kept doing, and they can keep doing stuff, but it's going to stop. Okay, so moratorium at the moment is, yep. from discussion standpoint, is put to bed. It goes into effect today, and the queue goes into effect today. And anything that we already have on the books in the mill will be honored Everything that's identified in the 6.2 table on the 428, on the um, right. 6821 document is committed. Yep. And if everybody wants a copy of that, they can come by the plant and get it until we send it to finalize. I have a problem mm -hmm. with that. We'll provide 6.2. Okay, so that pretty well sums up that. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Page two. Swiss speech. Peter. Hmm? Swiss speech. Grinder pumps. The whole project you had a drawing. Well, a discussion. Uh, uh, when are we going to see the, the engineering for Swift Speech? As soon as we get it back from the water district, we have to send it to the water district so they can take all their pipes and prove them out because we have to concern ourselves with contaminating. So the way it works is a water pipe and a sewer pipe have specific distances, different elevations. So we sent it over, the, I think it's Tatlow and something, they're engineers, they're reviewing the plans. When it comes back to us, we'll give them to you. Do we, we have a date? Do the, we give the, them a due date? We told them we'd like to have it next week, but it's in the hands of the water district. We'll keep pushing them. Where's so, the blockage um, on one heat, one Tico? It's at the intersection of, it's actually from Bay Street and in Wankinko down to Murphy. 
and halfway up to, to Swiss Beach. So I, let's say the pipe is 15 feet, probably 1,300 feet of it's blocked. Blocked? It's collapsed on itself. And where is the blockage on um, Bayview? Um, so you come up from uh, you come up from Juan Kinko, probably go in. I don't know, maybe there's one. So at the end of Bayview, it's probably about 60 feet, maybe a little less than that. And then to begin the Bayview is probably 15, 20 so feet. So it's in more than one place. So yes, I'm sorry. Over, yes. When do those lines yes. collapse? When they when the sump pump sent them in. So they've been so collapsing, they've collapsing, been collapsing up all this time. So you've been pumping around them? Absolutely, all this time. We, be, we go out there and... So everything flows up to this blockage and stops and then you pump? Yeah, because what happens is so, there's an 8-inch line that shrunk down to, in some places, 2 or 3 inches, some places 5 inches. So water flows. There is I'll, some flowage, yes, but, but not the But then the rags get in there, plugs it, backs everything up. We put a pump in there, bypass it, put jet riders in there, try to break it through. We hire a guy with a teeny one, break it through. We've been doing that for a couple of years now. So when somebody says the neighbors don't know, no, we've been disrupting their lives for the past couple of years. They know. Everybody's asked right. us. We've, it's so right, been a problem. Right now, the engineering plan is at the water department, and we're at their mercy as to when they can get it back to us. Yes, Bob said next week because he's in contact with the water and the engineers. Bob? And Bob Drake is our engineer from Bader. They're doing the work, and he's on their back to get it back to us ASAP because we have, we have to get our work done. So we can't move until they prove out their water lines they've got some big mains and and they also have crossing lines and we've got a you we got to go around them under them etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's difficult when sewer is going to be above water they really want us below it but we're not going below it because they're five feet we're not going six seven feet we're going to be at four feet so we have a conflict so we have to resolve that are there any blockages on the other streets no but if I, so to, to a good question, so we can leave the other streets, but they, but the gravity line, see, Juan Kinko is the main gravity. That's gone. I understand that. They got no place to gravity to. So that's why we have to do them all. Okay. Yeah. But now, um, Bayview was only eight feet down. Yes. What about the other streets? Same. A couple of them, I think at the top end are probably seven, six, but they're all this deep. But Juan Kiko was 17? Yes, because that's the main trunk going in. So it all starts at the pump station. Pump sta station is about 22 feet in the ground. So it's gravity. So they, so the gravity line feeds that and it comes in and goes across the Juan Kinko as your lowest point. Then everything comes to a drop manhole to drop into that. So everything's eight feet drops into the 17. So Juan Kinko is extremely deep. Um, so that's our issue with it. And, Besides water table, there's four to six feet. So no matter what's out there, there's always below water, below water level. And gravity pipes, uh, they have joints, so they allow it to flex in the water and allow it to leak. So it's just not a good idea. Now, when you go with this new system, when you go across Juan Kiko, when you get to Swifts, you're going to drop back down and use the existing pipe to enter That's the correct. pump station? When we get to Swiss Beach Road, we're going to hit that manhole and let it gravity back over because we'd never touch those lines. And so, yeah, it'll go into the pump station. All right. If you go back to Murphy, there's what? What? It's Murphy, Barnes, what's? Pleasant. And then Bayview. And Bayview. If you were to take those streets and tie them together just the way they are, no grinder pumps. Put a lift station and take it along Wantico, <coughs> picking up <coughs> on all the houses on Wantico with grinder pumps, and then dropped it back down at Swift Beach Road. Would that be cheaper? I don't know. I, first of all, where would you put what the lift station? What it would do is it would eliminate the grinder pumps on all those other streets. It would, we'd just use our existing system, if that system is, in fact, in good shape. I'm just trying to picture it. So you, what you're saying, where would you put, do you, do you, where did you put the lift station? Wherever, wherever you can prior to the blockage on Wantico. That 
would be down by Swiss Beach Road. Well, yeah, but you want to get on the other end so that you lift up, come across the, the blockage, abandon the blockage, and drop back down at Swift Beach. So lift up over on the Murphy end of Wankiko. Can't lift it. That's the high point, so we can't go any higher. That's the high point. So because it all gravity is this way, so that's the high but point. But you're going to be pumping at this point. We're not. The pumps are going to be for each individual home. So no, no. That's what I'm trying to eliminate. If you take all of those streets, and where they connect into Wantico, Wantico, they actually connect. Bring to them up. They connect to a manhole. That's on Juan Kinko Street. Right. And it drops into a mantle that's deeper. So So put a lift station there, bring it up to four feet, you're pumping now, go past your blockage, and while you're going past the blockage, you're picking up all the homes along Juan Kinko with grinder pumps, drop back down at Swift Speech and go into your system. Well, I guess we need the engineering plan to look at it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I hear what you're saying, but I, I just think you're talking about a hybrid system. Yeah. And, and because you're saying you want a pump station or a pump, I have to put it in the road because we put them on the edge of the property line. And if it's going to be where the line dumps, it dumps in the middle of the road. So somehow I got to get that station in the middle of the road. Yeah. To, and so that's going to be complicated in itself. So, I mean, is it doable? I Anything's doable. I is mean, it, is it, is it, Cost prohibitive? I don't know. Um, is it going to be the same? Probably. Yeah. Wouldn't save any money, but it'd be more complicated. Be more, because then I got to power it, so I got to bring electricity to it, which is in the middle of the road. So yeah, I probably have to do underground service because it's going to come off the pole. Yeah, I mean everything can be but done. You've but you've eliminated a hundred grinder pumps. But how how deep are those mains? Eight feet. I want to be four feet. Right, so you're still in the water table. I'm still gonna, I, if so I'm digging not, in the water, I'm You're not going to eliminate the INI that way. And you're, not gonna, to, you're not going to eliminate the um, sump pumps. You're not going to eliminate the sump pumps. So. Well, most of the sump pumps, I think, are on Juan Kiko. Um, I would, heck, I'm going to tell you something. There's houses up further on Swiss Beach that are loaded with sump pumps. Really? I wouldn't go there. I've been in, I told you the story, and this is, I met a priest up high and he was told to put a sump pump like the rest of the neighbors. He called me in to help put the sump pump in because he thought it was legal. He called us to come put the sump pump in for him. My neighbors all have them. They said it's good and I explained to him he can't have it. So that's the, the blockage on Bayview, was that caused by sump pumps? It was caused by something, yes, Bayview. Remember the old, and I don't that know. That was done a couple of years ago though. The what, the, the Bayview. Bayview was done along with Juan Kinko. It was all done the same, one project. I thought Bayview was done in the, it, I thought it was done like at around Christmas time a couple of years ago. A little more than that, but it was, we did Juan Kinko and Bayview at the same time. Okay. At the exact same time. Matter of fact, Danny, because the guy, it was, it was an elderly guy and he, some pump was on, he felt really kind of bad. It got to be difficult, but we had, we couldn't get him reinstated. If you look at the end of Bayview, there was a gentleman on the left all the guy, poor guy, we felt bad for him, but he just left his sump pump running. I, I just remember the, yeah. the huge steam cloud that was there. Yeah, that was the steam, the steam it off, but I got pictures of that. Um, but anyways, that's, um, that, that area was hammered. It took us forever to reinstate those halves, and then just before, for, uh, coming off of Wankiko, probably 50, less than that maybe, up on up Bayview. And then Wankiko just totally folded in, and so yeah, sump pumps everywhere. Now, when you do this, what are we going to do with the old pipes? Nothing. Yeah, we got this, I'm talking to DEP now, because they're specials. I have to be careful what I do. So when, when you say nothing, what do you mean? Plug, plug. Plug, plug. Each man will That's be plugged. That's what I wanted to hear. And fill. That's the best I'll do. So they are going to be plugged? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we have to do something with the manuals. I can't leave a void. I thought we could use them for the grinders, but we can't, so we'll... Well, and, and we'll stop that. What I was thinking of, you get a belligerent customer down there that says, I'm not hooking up, and they're, they're tied into our old system. Unless it's plugged, they have no idea. It's, we're still going to have the same problem because it's going to back up 
when it gets to the blockage. Yeah, we're abandoning it. If somebody refuses to tie in, they're abandoning it, but you've got to make it unusable. Mm -hmm. We're going to abandon it. We have to. The DEP requires us to abandon it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just trying to do the best way we can. We checked with the DEP, and it is legal to put sump pumps into storm drains. It's legal. It's okay. And we've got the, they cited us a document. Now what they did say is the town can have their own bylaw that says it's not legal. My next yeah, step is what You can have bylaws. all the laws in the world. I know there's a sump pump in that house. No, what so I'm, what? Yeah, what I'm saying is that the sump pump can legally dump into the catch basin. Legally into the storm no. system. Yes. Now, what they said to me is to look at the town's bylaw. The town may have a bylaw that forbids it, but the state doesn't forbid it. I, we got the. We actually, we actually had him send us the quote. I so want you can to have see it. that. Yeah, yeah, we can give it to you. I want to Bob see. Bob has that. it. We got it. We got it for you. Bob has it. But so law. what? Hmm. So we have to look at the town. Well, so now to see you're if the town an has a law. Huh? Now you're address. giving them an option. The state allows it. It. What? The, my point is, if if you know somebody has a sump pump, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. It's illegal. Okay. You can tell them it's illegal, no, but you can't go in their house to do anything about it. And the bottom no, line is, is, first of all, let's get it straight. Some pumps are not illegal. No, to the Some sewer pumps is. tied into the sewer drain are uh, illegal. illegal. Correct. So, to, to the sanitary sewer drain. Yes, exactly. Because the storm, <laughs> su you. the storm sewer is okay, but not the sanitary. Well, there is no storm sewer. You have well, storm sewer. water. Yeah, they call sewer. They call but both storm sewer. They're both sewer. One is storm and one is, is sanitary. Just so it's terminology. But they're both sewer. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they're both sewer. That's how the, that is. One sanitary and one is storm. So DEP says you may put your storm water and your pump Absolutely. into the storm water drain. Yeah. And they can go out into Buzzards Bay without yeah. being treated. That yeah, is correct. right. Uh -huh. I'd love to have them law, please. The law is easy. It's just the. I would like to see the uh, the actual section of the state DEP that says that's approved. Yeah, he did. I'll give. I'll get a copy. Yep. Bob got. Bob got a copy. What? I, thought he, I was looking at emails. I thought he sent it to me. I was going to look up the email. Just sitting in Donna seat. <laughs> Are we done? No, guy. Do you have a report? Oh. Uh, no, I, so uh, I, I worked about Swiss Beach. Sandy, you had mentioned a while back that you knew a young lady that was part of the uh, Association of Swiss Beach, and we'd like to. Christy Pop. Okay. I, I would I like. I will give you her name when I get back and look at my open space documents for the playground. Okay. I'm going to, I would like to send letters to all the residents to inform them that we'll be moving forward and having public meetings. From that young lady, I'd like to request the use of her hall and what dates would be available. But I want to send letters to everybody because some people may be summer residents. And Most may, in that area. Yeah, may be summer, so I'd like to get them letters. They have the a mail. bulletin board there at the yeah. association. I'll throw it up there too. But I think it's wise to get letters out to all of them because some people, because the address is not the same as Swiss Beach, but they'll get it at their home to be well aware. So if they choose to come down to the meetings, they have the right to. So and then we'll get some dates from her, uh, that young lady you know, and then get Who's the meetings. Who's this person you know? She, Swiss is she Beach. with the Improvement Association? She's at Swiss Beach. She's she's driving the Swiss Beach Playground Associate uh, play, Swiss Beach Playground Development, and she's part of that association, homeowners association. Okay. You think I could remember how to pronounce the last name, and I can't. I can remember. I'm lucky to say Chrissy. I just don't have it yeah. anymore. Look it up. I will have to look just it look up it when up. I get home, and I will send it to you. Okay. Do we have anything else anybody wants to bring up? I really do think it's Swiss Beach. Um, no, not really. Just one final thing, Mr. Group Chairman. I, I'll talk to the board, but um, we have a um, weekend help. We've got two individuals that have individual contracts working part-time on the weekends. And there's insurance clauses. We're asking by our general contracts an individual making $50 an hour to get liability insurance, and he's quoting a price of 9000 
So he's going to make probably 11000 for the year, and we're asking him to put $9,000 worth of liability on him. I talked to Mr. Bowen, and he says, actually, it's a policy that we would have to set. So I'll get the particulars. I think we should discuss it. I don't think we need liability for a worker. But again, I don't, it's not my call. It's not my policy, and I think we should discuss it. Because tomorrow, Saturday's the schedule to work, and I can't let him work because he hasn't signed the documents. The contract's not approved, so we'll, I'll have no management at the plant on Saturday. It's just the way it is, and, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but we have major issues. We continue to have issues, so that we, I want to discuss that because it may be critical to our... Is he a, a individual? Is he what? Is he a hire by you, or is he through a company? Through us. It's a 1099 employee. Okay. Yes. So in, in the emails to Mr. Bowen, he actually said it's, it's, it's the sewer commissioner's call. It's a policy. Do we say you should have all this insurance or no insurance or whatever? Uh, and so I, I, at some point we have to discuss it. I know this Saturday it's not going to make a difference, and so I can't bring him in this Saturday um, because I have no mechanism to pay him, and we're going to be hurting this Saturday. Um, do, in, we have one individual that did sign the contract, um, and I've got to put him on call. The union suggests we put that part-timer on call, so I'll stop buying things for him to go on call um, because when we're short staff, we don't have any managers to go on call, which is, I, I, for me, it's convoluted. I'm spending tons of money on private people, I know. and I can't pay people more to get them in, and I don't get it, but uh, I'm way over budget on contracts. It's 140-something thousand because I've got to hire others but it makes no sense to pay people more to bring them in, and I'm just lost at that, that, the rationale, but it is what it is, but we'll make it work. But I'm at a, at, a, at a dilemma here because if I say no insurance, it may not be acceptable. If I say it, I'll make you go buy $9,000 worth of insurance, and what, I don't know, and so I'm, gonna just, I'm just- going to buy $9,000 worth of insurance to, I, get, I, to make two. To make two, we're saying spend a lot of money yeah. to, to protect everybody, but. I don't know. I don't have the answers, but it just, it's just bothering me that it's going to limit the ability to bring more people in. So no matter where you turn, there's issues, and it's hard to get help. And the treatment plan is not one that we can say, don't worry about help. I can't shut it down. If it was a bakery, I could shut the bakery down. If it's a exactly. restaurant, I can shut the restaurant down. But a wastewater treatment facility, I can't shut it down. I can't shut it down. I don't have that option. You can't put a moratorium on workers. I can't put a moratorium on workers. We can put a moratorium on more flow, but I can't put a moratorium on the flow that's coming. I can't tell people to shut off. I can't right. tell people to stop flushing. Uh, you know, and, you know, uh, it, it's crazy. And, and, and a side note, and, and this is probably sour grace, but at the time meeting when somebody mentioned wastewater, people laughed about, oh my God, but. I, I just participated and proud of it with uh, WPI, Worcester Poly Institute, doing research on sewer workers. And one fact came out of it I thought was very interesting. It says a teacher with a master's degree in the first year is going to make, <coughs> I think it was $52,000, and they said between $80,000 of debt and whatever. A wastewater operator coming out of high school is going to make $48,000 with no debt. So who's really the joke on? And that operator can make more money, go to school and do all things and have no debt, no liability. So who is the joke really on? I don't know, but wastewater is becoming more than just sewer. It's becoming PFOS. It's becoming pharmaceuticals. It's becoming uh, priority pollutants. It's becoming things that people aren't heard of. Treatment's becoming more complicated, more difficult. It's requiring labs. It's requiring chemists. So, you know, we look at wastewater as just, you know, the old adage that, you know, the Art Connie kind of guy is pretty stupid. He works there. It's not, it's not the case anymore. Derek so. said, have your kid go into wastewater. They laughed at him. But, hey. He's right. That's the like place to go. other blue collar. He's right. Because if you don't believe it, try, try finding an electrician who's a blue collar worker. Try finding a plumber who's a skilled, you know. So go find these folks. They don't have college degrees, but... Um, Oh, they're in Good. demand. Go find them. Well, you can see them driving by. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, that's all I have. I, I, I apologize for venting, but right. it just bothers me when people don't understand the importance of wastewater. They don't take it serious. And the bottom line is without wastewater and drinking water, you don't have anything. Um, it's reality. And, and I think it needs to be taken more serious and given the credit that it's due. Okay, next meeting is May 12th, 6.30. Donna? No, before you go. Yes. We approved a budget last night of which 1067248 was for capital. I thought the 7, 700000 for capital was supposed to go into outside contractors to take care of the, of the, uh, the sorry, the plan, the report you're about to get. Yeah, I it. thought we talked about moving that out of capital because it cannot be a capital expenditure for a report. He put it in the capital line in the budget as part of the budget. I don't think I'm on the capital, but that's what he did. We asked him. He said, that's fine. You can use the money here. You can spend it here. We asked here to have it moved into outside contractors, and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. We, we so sent, we, uh, I, asked, I sent it to Mr. Sullivan at your request of what you were asking. And he said which line it was on. That's right. So he said, I'll just put it on the capital line. Right. I said, okay. Um, see what accounting has to say. Yeah, well, there's always a conflict then what with is accounting. the capital reserve for 367248 Reserve what? is, that's money. So, so th here's, here's what, that's in our budget. So if we have an unforeseen prob problem, make sure I'm talking about the same line. The reserve says that with your permission, we can move it. I can't spend it without bringing it in front of the sewer commissioners to get permission to spend it. So, so if something comes up, it's there, but it can't be bought into the seems, budget. It seems to be a catch-all to make sure you balance to your revenue. What do you mean? 370? No, we... $148, someone. It tells to me that it's ought to have been a catch amount in order to match the grand total. Oh, wait a minute. You're talking about the... Wait a minute. You're talking about the stabilization fund. No. Nope. Which one? It says capital seven hundred thousand, capital mm -hmm. reserve three hundred sixty-seven thousand two hundred forty-eight dollars, just above the grand total of eight million one hundred ninety-two thousand eight hundred eighty-one. Capital stabilization fund three six seven two four eight. Yes. That's the cap. That money goes into that's a stabilization fund that was approved at town meeting. I think it was uh, on this well, finance what are you committee. Using for? Uh, nothing. That's just that has that goes into a stabilization fund to use for capital projects that has to be voted at town meeting to be expended. Okay, so right now there is no no expenditure on that line planned. No, I can't spend it. I have to go to town meeting. And so what it is is just so you understand. I think we had a lot of emails going back and forth. We discussed the increase, which became very problematic, as you know. So there was going to be a surplus in debt. The town felt that, and no one knows the billing cycle, because I found that fascinating. And when I said to the town, no, 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 it's the second half, they didn't know. So anyways, the second half was going to be the surplus. That reflects that, because we have right. to balance a budget. Okay. I'm going to hang on to this budget page. And every <laughs> time you ask for something, I'm going to see if it's budgeted. <laughs> That's not fun because, well, his, I, I gotta tell you. Nothing I, will ever get done. But I, I agree. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a motion we adjourn. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Well, 7.59, or if we continue to talk and no, make it 8 o'clock. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Listen. The adjourn budget's already changing. It's crazy. Prices are already going up. Right. We have a contract.